What's going on guys, it's your boy DBJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we're going to check out what Banshee brings for us on the 18th of the 11th 2015, today being Arms Day. Now we're going to go through all five weapons offered by Banshee this week and I'm going to give you guys my recommendations into what to pick up. Before we go any further, I actually look at these weapons with PvP in mind. It's rare that I actually see a weapon offered by Banshee that I think would be pretty good and will want me to use it over some of my awesome PvE weapons. So PvP I have in mind when I check out these weapons, but let's just get straight into the video. And the first weapon he's offering this week is a San FR4, which is an Amalan fusion rifle. To be honest, I don't really use fusion rifles at all in PvE or PvP, but I know a few decent mods um, which make them stand out from the bunch. Let's just take a look at what this bad boy offers. Looks sexy as hell. Uh, first one, Torch HS2 Sight, Improved Target Acquisition, and one of Close Quarters Combat Sights, and we have Spark IS6, um, Improved Weapon Handling. We then have Grenade Deer, Skip Rounds, Braced Frame, we have Underdog, and we have Exhumed. Braced Frame, Max Stat Stability with lowers Magazine Size, probably takes us down to about a 3 or a 4. Um, but look at that stability, damn, this will be like a laser. Let's have a look at what the second one offers. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the Torch HS2, we have the Candle IS2, improves the weapon handling, minimal iron sights. We have Grenade Dia, enhanced battery, oiled frame, unflinching, and we have Exhum. Unflinching is an amazing perk. Uh, stability isn't max though, enhanced battery, but still Grenade Dia, enhanced battery, and unflinching is quite a combo for a fusion rifle, to be honest. What's the third one offer? Okay, Torch HS2, Spark IS6, we have Army of One, Quick Draw, Injection Mode, which maxes stability but reduces that, uh, mag uh, that I was going to say magazine size, then reduces that range. We have Underdog and we have Exhumed. To be honest, I'm thinking number two, probably number two or one. It depends on what you want. Um, if you're looking at this for PVE weapon also, it could be the burn you're after. We've got Arc, um, Solar, and we have Void, so one of each. But to be honest, PvP, I'm looking at these, I'll probably take uh, Unflinching, and what else do we have here? Um, enhanced Battery, that's probably what I'll take. Grenade is just a useless perk in my opinion, but yeah, I'll take number two without a shadow of a doubt. Number one's pretty decent as well though, with that max stability, but I'd prefer to have Unflinching, okay. Second weapon we have is a Herger D, which is an amazing pulse rifle I picked up last week. Um, I'm hoping to get one this week with more stability. Uh, but let's have a look at what the first one offers. This is a free burst headshot kill, by the way. We have on the first one out the Watchdog highlights enemy guard and uh, enemies and guardians with charge supers. Uh, GB Iron improves weapon handling. We then have Last Resort. Counterbalance, snapshot, fitted stock, and oiled frame. Um, I think great to be honest. Counterbalance and fitted stock, like I said, I'm after as much stability in this bad boy as I can get. Okay, so we have here our watchdog GA post. We have head seeker, full auto. High caliber rounds, fit stuck, and oiled frame. Got a little bit of stability there. Take well, to be honest, the stability on this bad boy isn't that bad anyway. Um, with a little bit of stability here. Um, full auto and head seeker. This is quite a roll to be honest, not gonna lie. It's quite a beastly roll. So number two is definitely winning so far on what to pick. Take a look at what the third one offers. Okay, so we have danger close. Uh, counterbalance, snapshot, feed stuck, and oiled frame. Sites we have LC uh, ranged and we have SC hollow, which improves target acquisition. Now, uh, this is quite a decent role of counterbalance and feed stuck. I think the first one after that, though, as well. Uh, miss it did indeed. With last resort. Um, to be honest, number three is better than number one, but in my opinion, Number two is better than them both with a head seeker and full auto with fitted stuck. Um, so definitely in my opinion pick up number two. Number two is a beast. 
Can't wait to try that bad boy out in Iron Banner. And now we have the Louis Miller D, which is another hacker push rifle. And this is easily a two burst headshot kill. Um, it's actually a monster of a weapon. But on this bad boy, we do want we do want stability. I mean, I've picked this up and now probably four weeks in a row, hoping to get a stability roll on it. Uh, Let's have a look at the mods on the first one. We've got GB Iron and LC Ranged. We have Army of One, Full Auto, High Caliber Rounds, Feet Stuck, and Hand Leg Stuck. Now look at the stability. Now that stability is probably the most I've seen on this weapon offered by Banshee over the past four or five weeks. So that's looking good, but the first one's looking pretty badass. Uh, do any of the others offer, say, a stability pet like this with Glass Half Full and Hand Leg Stuck? That would be pretty badass, and look, it does as well. That's amazing. So we've got LC range, which improves uh, range. We've got GA Pulse. We've got Glass Half Full, which isn't to be um, found upon. We've got Counterbalance. We've had we have Snapshot, Feet Stuck, and Hand Leg Stuck. So this thing's gonna have some amazing stability. Uh, what was the third one offer? Because that number two one looks pretty B. So we've got here yeah, Full Auto. So we've got Albi Assault, SC Hollow, Surrounded, Full Auto. High caliber round, feet stuck and hand laid stuck. To be honest, I don't need uh, a full auto perk on such a push rifle that shoots so slow anyway, because this is not a fast firing push rifle whatsoever. You can easily tap that trigger, and so that's why I'm going to choose number two with that glass half full, counterbalance, and hand laid stuck. This thing will be an absolute monster. I'm gonna Definitely going to be using this bad boy in the iron banner, so that's the one I'm going to be picking. Okay, next weapon we have is a Suras PDX 45, which is an amazing push rifle. Um, I actually had this quite a while now. I think I may have got it out of a package for ranking up my gunsmith. Uh, well, let's see what this bad boy offers. If you've got stability on this, this will be amazing. Okay, so we've got um, SR041, SPR28, and SL019. We've got high caliber rounds, oiled frame, which maxes that reload speed. We've got unflinching, speed reload, and rifled barrel, which gives it more range. Um, not too bad, to be honest. Unflinching, stability is pretty high already. Uh, with rifled barrel, not too bad. Um, let's see what else this bad boy offers. Let's take out number two. Okay, so here we have increased stability already. We can see that. We've got Suos, uh, the SR041, we've got the SPO28, and the SLO12. We've got Feet Stuck, which does increase stability. Um, we've got Casket Mag, Counterbalance, which gives us more stability. We've got Snapshot, and we've got Injection Mode, uh, which does reduce uh, range, though, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how bad this range drop off will be on this weapon. I mean, I've got a Hawk Saw, which has basically the exact same range, but it has max stability and it doesn't seem to have any uh, damage drop off whatsoever i'm wondering if that could be the same thing for this well that's quite a roll to be honest even if the range does drop pretty bad that thing will have max stability i'm pretty sure of it um let's check out what the third one offers number two is probably the one i'm going to take though um here we have slo 41 spr 28 and slo 12 we have hammer forge which improves range we have oiled frame Take a knee, snapshot, and reinforced barrel. Nah, number two is definitely the one I'm going to pick up this week. Max stability on this thing will be like a flipping laser beam, it really will. That's the one I'm going to be taking. Okay, the last weapon is a strong bow D shotgun. Now, this, to be honest, I already have, and the one I have is a monster. Um, but let's go through the mods. We have aggressive ballistics, which improves impact but lowers range and stability. We've got soft ballistics, last resort. Who's next? Fred Magwell, perfect balance and rifled barrel. Nothing great there to be honest. Rifle barrel's pretty decent, but you want something else to be paired with it. Look at the stability on that, fuck me. Um, we've got again aggressive ballistics, smooth ballistics, last resort, hot swap, lightweight, hand loaded, and hand laid stuck. Fucking hell, that stability is ridiculous. Third one offers, let's take a look. We've got a linear compensator which improves range and impacts looking good already we've got close and or personal hot swap lightweight fitted stock and oiled frame damn these are three bad shotguns in my opinion um none of them really offer anything i look for in a shotgun at all 
Uh, aggressive ballistics. Uh, last resort, who's next? Fled Magua, perfect balance. Rifle Bow. Rifle Bow is probably the one good perk on all three of these flipping things. Any of these bad boys got another? No, no, no. Yep, number one is going to be, in my opinion. I probably never use these shotgun nuts, probably just going to tend to legendary marks for me. But guys, they are the five weapons uh, Banshee offered on the 18th of November 2015. Today being Arms Day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.